Hi, I'm Michael Jenkins, Executive Chef at the Anchorage. I hope you enjoy the recipes I've put together for port to plate. Enjoy. Okay, so we'll do the barbecue mahi mahi with the avocado, noodle, and bok choy salad. Um, nice little, probably more summary dish, but um, it'll come up pretty well soon. A couple of nice pieces of mahi mahi, nice shoulder piece here, nice little belly piece there, or the underside piece. For the barbecue, you want to make sure your barbecue is nice and hot. Um, so get that cranked up a little bit. You want to cook your fish nice and quickly, and then rest it through. So I'll start off, I'll just oil and season this fish. I'm not going to cook it yet, I'll make the salad first, the dressing. A little bit of seasoning. You can put as much or as little pepper and salt on it as you like. So that's, you can see, that's obviously the underside. This is um, the side you want down on the plate. So your presentation side is always that top side. Pop me out of the way for a second. Okay, so for the dressing, We want some nice fresh lime juice. So I'm, only, I'm making it for one portion, so if you're making it for four, obviously you'd use, follow the recipe, 100 mils. Fish sauce. This adds your salt. Red chilli, again, you can add as much or as little of the chilli as you like. I tend to use the long reds because they're a bit more uh, mild in flavour. Just chop them up as much or as little as you like. Some palm sugar. So this palm sugar will take the heat out of that chilli and it also takes the edge off the saltiness of the um, fish sauce. I tend to just shave it with a knife. You can use a grater or a microplane to do the same job. You can't find palm sugar, uh, raw sugar is your next best substitute. And then a light, or a light brown sugar. I'm gonna use some coriander. Make sure you give coriander a good wash. It, um, they grow it in a fair bit of dirt, it grows quickly, so it'll tend to get a lot of sand up through it. I'm just gonna use the leaves. You can use all 